my goal originally in the spring was to uh, find a way to uh, introduce the World War I centenary to my history students over the next four years. And I thought the best place to start would be with the memorial that's in Morden uh, to learn a little bit more about the soldiers whose names are on it. Mm -hmm. uh, as I was doing research on the names that are on here, I came across the names of uh, the three editions and uh, decided it would be worth approaching the uh, Legion in the city just to see uh, if maybe there would be an interest in uh, pursuing that a little bit further and, and maybe adding the names to the memorial. Okay. In your speech, you were talking about how it was a bit of a difficult task finding the information that you were looking for. Tell me about that. Well, with the names that are on this memorial already, uh, I think it was an imperfect time for knowing how people spelled their names. Uh, so some of the names are misspelled. There's different versions of the name that are used than what you would find in the official record. And so when you're doing a search on the available uh, Archive Canada uh, resources, you would need to pretty much know the exact name uh, to be able to find the information. So it, it uh, proved a little bit tricky. And then for the, the couple of soldiers who aren't actually Canadian, uh, weren't Canadian soldiers, you have to uh, try and seek them out in other ways. Okay, tell me about the names that you found. Well, the three that I found uh, are very representative of the names that are already on the memorial. Uh, the backgrounds of the people tended to be laborers and farmers, which is certainly true for uh, two of the uh, young men that were uh, added, uh, Private Bailey and Private Bell. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Captain Dickinson was uh, a doctor from uh, the area, and uh, he uh, died of his wounds or injuries uh, a few years after the war, but uh, was uh, from Morden and, and uh, certainly deserving of being added uh, today as well.